This experiment involves the use of concentrated ammonia, which can kill you if you inhale too much of the vapors, and unstable carcinogenic chromium compounds. Use appropriate safety measures. I'm going to show you how to make chromium-4 triamine diperoxide, a very interesting compound of chromium featuring chromium in the rare oxidation state of plus 4. Now, this compound is extremely unstable, and when it decomposes by heating, um, the, most of the chromium-4 is reduced down to chromium-3, which is why you see that nice green color. So, um, to make this compound, get 0.3 grams of ammonium dichromate and dissolve it in as little concentrated ammonia as possible. I'm using 30%. You're going to need surprising, a surprisingly large amount of ammonia. Put the solution in an ice bath and get it down to around 0 C. Then, slowly, slowly add um, 3 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide. Here I have this speeded up double time. What is going on is the hydrogen peroxide is reacting with the uh, ammonium dichromate and ammonia to form the chromium triamine diperoxide. Since the ammonia is neutral and, the, and there are two peroxides, each with a minus two charge, and the entire molecule is neutral, the charge on the chromium is plus four. You see that in solution, this compound is kind of a dirty, makes a dirty brown solution, much like potassium tetraperoxochromate 5. After about half an hour of chilling, pour out the slurry of crystals and solution onto filter paper or a watch glass or something like that. Decant off as much of the solution as you can and rinse several times with clean denatured alcohol or pure ethanol. After the ethanol stops turning a milky white when you add it, then uh, decant off as much of the ethanol you, as you can and let the rest evaporate off. Take your dry product and put it on some heat resistant thing and heat it up with a propane torch. Notice that 